Hi, I'm Miss Cass, the lead teacher of the Foxes classroom at ELC4, and today we are going to be reading Hogwash by Karma Wilson. One warm day in early May, Farmer had a plan to spring clean all his animals till each was spick and span. Farmer fetched a pail and soap, put on his cleaning duds, then went out to the water spout and lathered up some suds. He washed the horses, ducks, and cows, the goats, the cats, and dogs. Everything went dandy until Farmer reached his hogs. The pigs got out their toolbox and they boarded up their pen. No matter what, poor Farmer said, they wouldn't let him in. No hogwash for us today, pigs love dirt, so go away. Farmer scratched his head in thought, then said, here's what I'll do, since those pigs have blocked me out, I'll spray some water through. He dragged a hose up to the fence and turned it on full power. If you pigs won't take a bath, I'll give you all a shower. The pigs got out their umbrellas and put on their rubber suits. They stomped through muddy puddles in their shiny yellow boots. No hogwash, pigs don't scrub, we like wearing grime and grub. They all dug in and made mud pies. They had a mud ball war. They splished and splashed and hammed it up more filthy than before. Farmer stomped his feet and yelled, you oinkers got me riled. They still refused to take a bath. Those pigs had gone hog wild. Keep your soap and bucket, bud. Thanks for making all this mud. Suey, suey, Farmer called. I've got some mash and oats. The pigs were not impressed at all. Go feed it to the goats. Farmer lied, it's the pizza man, I've got your pizza pie. The pigs weren't fooled one little bit, just leave it by the sty. Farmer muttered, stomped and growled, you're stubborn and pig-headed. The pigs just snorted with disgust, no hogwash, just forget it. No matter what the farmer tried, they wouldn't let him come inside. Farmer pondered for a while, farmer grinned a crafty smile. Farmer yelled, that's it by gosh, look out hogs, it's time to wash. I finally found the perfect plant. I know just what to do. Then Farmer filled his crop dust plane with water and shampoo. He climbed into the pilot's seat and set off on his mission. He flew above the pig pen armed with sudsy ammunition. Farmer cried, it's washing day. Look out, piggies, bombs away. Farmer swooped to make a pass. Farmer's plane ran out of gas. Farmer gulped, the engine sputtered. Just my luck, the farmer muttered. Down the plane went like a rock. Look out, I'm gonna crash. The pigs began to squeal in fright. Clunk, clink, bang, boom, bash. All the horses, ducks, and cows, the goats, the cats, and dogs ran to help the farmer and they found him with those hogs. There was farmer soaked in grime, having quite a splendid time. He joined the pigs and made mud pies. He wallowed all around. He splished and splashed and hammed it up and rolled upon the ground. Farmer saw the animals and called out, come and play. The mud is great, let's celebrate. We'll bathe some other day. From then on, farmer never tried to wash his hogs again, but every other day he took a mud bath in their pen. The end. All right, that's the end. Thank you for reading Hogwash with us today. Have a good day.